Thanks, Mark. So they were all the rage last Christmas. Contour kits to shadow under your cheeks, make your nose look straighter. Well, our friend makeup artist Carrie Wilson says you can just throw those away. Take a look. I'm in Avondale right now visiting my friend Carrie Wilson. She's a wonderful makeup artist and we're very excited for her because she just opened up her brand new space. So remember last year when everyone was talking about the buzzword in makeup, contouring? Yeah, well, we're not doing that anymore. The thing with contouring is that it's very hard to do properly. And if you don't do it properly, you can actually make your cheekbones look too low. Um, you can walk around with a stripe on the face, and we don't want that anymore. We want people to see your natural beauty and just highlight the face. It's more useful. So according to Carrie, we can just throw away our contour kits and start thinking about strobing. So what is strobing? So strobing is basically highlighting the areas of the face that sort of stick out or come out or you want to pop out. So think um, when it's kind of like a candlelight effect, basically. So, so really, you'll, you'll glow a little bit, which in my mind makes you look younger. Absolutely. Yay! Yeah, I know. We all want that, right? <laughs> Take 10 years off. But um, basically, it's a more youthful appearance. It's going to give you a highlight, a glow, so you don't look sallow or um, more matte in certain areas. You really, really want to glow and look highlighted, but only in certain areas. Okay, so for strobing, you basically want to take a liquid highlighter. You can use a powder too, but I'm going to use a liquid and a foundation brush. You can also use your fingertips, but I like to sort of paint it on. I think it's a little bit more mistake proof. So I'm going to take a little bit and go right on the top of my cheekbone here. You can really see that glow forming. A little bit above my lip, a little bit on my chin. I don't do too much there just because I tend to be a little oily, and if you're oily anywhere, you want to kind of keep the strobing away from there. You're already getting natural strobing. And this is going to be your last step after you've really completed all of your makeup. Sort of that final touch, that finishing touch. You can also take a little bit with your fingertip and go right under the brow. And you'll see it in the light. And you want to really kind of check it even if you have a window near your bathroom or wherever you're doing your makeup or a light, make sure you're looking into the light. Um, most people have light from above and that can really shadow us, so we really want to get into the light. Sometimes you have to look up. And there you go, you've got a glow. It really does work. It's pretty amazing. It works perfectly. So if you would like some more information on Carrie Wilson, you can just visit our website, rivercitylivetv.com, and click on the box that says, as seen on River City Live. Stick around. More to come from the Avenues Mall.